Want to play your favorite Windows games like GTA 4, Skyrim, The Witcher 3, or Need for Speed right on your Android phone? Then WinLater is the best way to do it, and the new modded WinLater C Mod V13.1 just took things to a whole new level. It's faster, smoother, and more powerful than ever, with crazy performance boosts and sharper graphics even on low-end devices. If you've been waiting for an Android Windows gaming breakthrough, this is it. WinLater C Mod is an advanced open source Windows emulator designed for Android. It lets you run full fledged PC applications and games directly on your phone or tablet. Based on the original WinLater project, C Mod is a heavily improved fork with enhanced performance, better controller support, and custom graphics drivers. It's made for gamers and power users who want the desktop experience without needing a PC right in their pocket. Let's go to the installation process. WinLater C mod is available on the official GitHub page. If you've ever tried the original WinLater, it's totally similar. WinLater has a rumor it contains a virus, that's why it will be blocked by Android Play Protect. But you can still install the app at your own risk. After installation, you'll first need to grant the app permission to access your phone storage. Here's something new, a disclaimer that it's a warning from a virtual machine or emulator saying a system update is required. The OBB file for WinLater C mod now automatically downloads. This file contains all the necessary components to run the app. Then it will ask to use storage permission, just simply allow it. Click on the three lines on the left. You'll notice this WinLater C mod is similar, but it has some extras like Controller Manager. You can play multiplayer offline four players at once. This feature will help if you want to play any game. WinLater C mod uses the same input system as the original WinLater. You can try using a gamepad or import profiles directly from the WinLater cloud, where all popular game layouts are readily available. You can easily adjust the controls, add or remove buttons, resize them, and move them anywhere on the screen to perfectly suit your gameplay style. Then there's saves, which means you can save the game states. Most importantly, Adreno Tools GPU driver in WinLater, we had the option to add or change the GPU driver, but C mod gives us the freedom to install GPU drivers. It makes a huge difference between the two apps. Now go to settings. Set the Box 64 version to performance to maximize efficiency. You must try the dark mode because it's really amazing. Tap on big picture mode, an exclusive launcher style UI in C mod. Get Steam Grid API used to download game cover art. Just paste the API and it will auto download the game covers. Set the cursor speed up to 200, but I like to use 150. Here you can customize the big screen effects. You can add background music from YouTube or import files. You can also change the background wallpaper and animations from here itself. Also, you can see the start button, which is used to set favorite any container. Next, you'll be prompted to create a container. Click the plus icon at the top right corner to begin configuration. Start by giving your container a name and selecting the screen size, but you can go up to 1080p. I'm choosing 854 by 480, which is 16 by 9. If you notice any lag or trouble booting, you can lower the resolution in the settings. There are two Wine versions in WinLater C mod, Proton 9 and Proton 9 ARM. ARM is for low-end devices, but if your device is highly configured, use the regular version. For the graphics driver, for the graphics driver, we got the new wrapper V2, but I prefer using the wrapper's previous version. We've got wrapper click on the gear icon to test the graphics driver version. If your device is non-Snapdragon like MediaTek, then use system. And for Snapdragon, you can try the other driver or add any custom driver. For the DX wrapper, you can select DXVK or VKD3D. Most games run well with either. I use DXVK version 2.4.1. For the audio driver, select the new Alpha Reflector, which creates a virtual, unbreakable audio sync. Additionally, you can enable show FPS and ignore aspect ratio to ensure full screen. In the Wine configuration, select a GPU model. I prefer to use the NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1060. Set the video memory, which means the RAM of your device. 4096 means four gigabytes. In advanced settings, Box 64 version is 0.3.7 and keep Box 64 on performance always and startup selection on aggressive. Under processor affinity, select all the available cores, now switch to driver. Here, add a driver that means the folder in your phone storage where you store the PC games you legally own. Finally, click on the tick button to create this container. Now return to the home screen and tap the run button. We can enjoy PC software and games on Android seamlessly. If you found this guide helpful, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more gaming tutorials.